having just arrived in New Orleans late the night before and randomly wandering the streets of the French Quarter, I spotted the New Orleans School of Cooking. This was an opportunity too good to miss, so I grabbed a very reluctant Renata, dragged her in, and as luck would have it, there was a class about to start. But maybe we bit off a little more than we could chew. Literally. Oh, and you love garlic, don't you? <laughs> that that is a big bit of garlic. Let me get the, the stuff happening here. So I've got little piles of praline and we're going to share a beer because we don't normally drink beer. Beer? Yeah, but, um, beer. Oh, all right. Cheers. I'm going to have to give you a lot of Absolutely nothing. Just roll it out, and there you have lots of So the photographs are from the text says, what did you do on the, what day is it, Sunday? We well, put this onto YouTube now, and we'll, um... Now that we're telling the whole world that we're doing this, is it tax dodge? Well done. <laughs> yep. All right. You found something to eat it with? How is it? Because I'm, I'm waiting for you to finish so I can have some. That's Good, right. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. That is good. Salt and pepper. Bread pudding. Fabulous. This is how hard to take on the bread. Because it's just all butter and cream. And cream. <coughs> Doesn't need anything extra added to it, just as it is. No. Wow. You got the rum? After our bellies were completely full of food, we then had the opportunity to listen to Harriet Robin as she told us her stories of growing up in New Orleans and also a little bit how it all works. At, at, at um, Moisant, he landed in Jefferson Parish. This is Arlene's parish. You know, they're different parishes because we were Catholic for 80 years. So wherever the church was, that was the parish <coughs> church. And if you think it, we're not counties, we're parishes. But I had an opportunity to be in the Pantalho Row houses. Those are the buildings that are on each side of Jackson Square. <coughs> and I did it. Left the family home and moved into I had children that were jumping for joy, I want you to know. And uh, so it takes courage to do some things that, that come up in your life, but if you have the courage and you do it, 
let me tell you, there are a lot of benefits, really, really. And one thing almost led into another. So after I retired, um, I wasn't living in the corner any longer. I was back in memory. But a friend said, you know, Harriet, you ought to, ought to do tours. And they're starting this class. So I took the class. It was a one month class, three days a week. And after the second day, I said, what have you done? <laughs> I mean, this is work, y'all. This is work, work, work. And I said, you've already been work, 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 you know. But um, I did that for, I think, nine or 10 years. And then my one of, all of my best friends I grew up with, Ann Leonard, who was teaching here. We were at a tour guide meeting together. I'm listening to Ann talk about what she's doing here. And I said, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. You know, you know, I, you know, I thought the tour guide would be a lot of fun too. You know? I said, sounds like a lot of fun, Ann. And I said, let me know if they ever need anybody. She said, it's summertime. Nobody needs anybody. It's tight right now. Job on Monday, that was Thursday night. We had the job on Tuesday. <laughs> because on Monday, I was gallivanting around Magazine Street and someplace else, wherever I could go. Ann and I did this cookbook across the table. Ann and I grew up on the same street together uh, as, as since 1950. And you know, she went to one school, I went to the to the school, the parish school, St. Dominic's. She went to an all-girls school, God bless her. God bless those nuns, too. Um, I told them, I said, if anything happens to us when we're traveling, I am going to outrace you to the pearly gates because if those nuns find out you're coming, they're gonna block it. <laughs> and I don't wanna be caught in your blockade. <laughs> so, if she's as tall, you know, they compare us to Maud and Sophia. <laughs> so, um, we did a cookbook, it was supposed to be Many of just handwritten sheets that we would many a graph off for our grandchildren with the family recipes, you know, just something. And we were doing some of the work here uh, when, because I would get off and then she didn't have a class for two more hours, so we'd go upstairs and work. And the school got involved, so it's across the table. Um, I'll never do another one. <laughs> Being honest, I told her. Volume one is all you're getting out of it, okay? Because it was like gravy on rice with Ann, and she's an old school teacher, you know, that never did play out. But I have to tell you this about our history. We were established in 1718 by French Canadians. They didn't come down the Mississippi like Bobby LaSalle did to claim the territory. Bobby claimed it to his king, Louis XIV, the land of Louis, Louisiana. Bobby sailed out and could never find his way back in. And believe it or not, when he did try, he did have an expedition um, to come back and to do more exploring and more whatever. They overshot. They couldn't find the mouth of the river. We don't have a simple mouth. It's not like one, the river running into a big body of water. It flags out. So you go in and out of these little places, you get stuck, you have to wait for the tide to come in, with misery, misery all over the place. Even today, people come up the river, but that's under steam power. If in the early days, we didn't come up the river, we went through the lakes from the Gulf of Mexico. I'm standing in the Gulf of Mexico right here. These are our Florida parishes. Why? Because it's part of the Florida Panhandle. It goes all the way over here. Here's Florida coming down into the Gulf. Ann and Alan moved after Hurricane Ida to Santa Rosa. They're in the Panhandle. I said, what, you moving? He said, yes, the child's hurricane. Can't recommend that class enough. If you get the chance to do it, if you're ever in New Orleans, you make sure you book it in. But now we're going to head off to the Andrew Jackson Hotel and also another little bit of an investigation. Let's see how we go. Do we find the ghosts? I know we found a fabulous new friend. Hi, Chris. And we got to investigate his house too. Don't forget to check out that episode. But stay tuned for some more frightfully good adventures. <laughs> 